Can you share any change? Oh my gosh, did you just touch me? Do you realize I have to wash this now? Do you know how expensive that is? Um, of course not. You wouldn't. You're homeless. Okay, I, I, I just can't I'm today. So I cannot today! Oh. Hey, man. You didn't deserve that. I wish I could give you more. This is the most money I've gotten in weeks. I'll be able to have lunch and dinner now. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Take care. Take care. Please, I have a doctor's appointment, and, I, and I'm going to be short for the bus. Doctor's appointment? Good one. <laughs> like I believe that. Great, I'm going to miss my doctor's appointment. That's great. Here you go, ma'am. Hopefully that'll get you where you're going and back. <laughs> Gosh, you don't know what this means to me. I hope your appointment goes well. Thank you. You're an angel. <laughs> Mom, what's taking so long? I don't feel so good. I know, three. Hold on. Sorry, I had enough. Um, what was the total again? Nine eighty-four. Uh, you don't happen to have a smaller box or something uh, like that? Come on, lady. Can we move this line along? Ma'am, if you can't pay, you have to step out of line so I can help the next customer. I understand. It's just that my son really needs this medicine. He's really, really sick. Um, by any chance, uh, can I borrow, like, a $5 bill or... <laughs> Absolutely not. I... Right. Listen, can I just pay for this or what? Otherwise, I have to go. Yes. Right? Okay. But just keep the change. Jeez. Um, I'm sorry, baby, but I'm not going to be able to get your medicine right now, okay? Then how am I going to feel better? It'll be all right. Here. Yeah. This might help. Are you sure? I mean, yes, yes, it would, but I, uh, are you going to be able to pay for your it's food? It's not a problem at all. I have more than enough. Please, take it. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure. Hope you feel better, pal. Thank you. Change. Have a good one. Like you could use a meal. No. You've already done so much. I insist. Take it. It's yours. But he must be hungry too. It's okay. I'll, I'll find more food. I always do. Hey. Uh, I'm confused. You said that you needed money for food, but then gave it to other people. I'm sorry. I hope you're not mad. No, no, not at all. I'm just curious why. I mean, I may not have much, but there's always someone that has less than me. I've always believed that the kindness you put out in the world has a way of coming back to you. Uh, I like that. I like that. Oh, I'm Chris, by the way. Oh, I'm Hank. Not sure you want to shake my hand. Oh, I don't mind. Oh. Nice to meet you, Hank. You too. I wish I had more cash to give you, so, I mean, you could get some food. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm fine. And I'm glad that your $15 helped a whole lot of people. Hank, I got you some food. This nice man at the drive-thru, he ordered me two burgers. I figured I'll give you one since you're always doing oh. so nice things for me. Oh, thank you, Wendy. See, Chris, told you I'd be fine. I always figure it out. Did you want one? Oh, no, thank you. I appreciate it. But, uh, mm. I got somewhere to go. Um, it was really great meeting you guys. I'll see you around. Nice meeting you too, Chris. 
Oh, this is good. Thank you, Wendy. Well, shall we eat? Honey. Oh, okay. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> I was just thinking about this homeless guy that I met. He's a very nice man. Oh. Yeah, you wouldn't believe it. I gave him $15 for food. He probably only had a little bit of spare change to his name. His clothes were dirty. Probably didn't shower for a while. And you know what he did? He spent the money on other people. Every last dollar. <laughs> I was shocked. I mean, who would do such a thing? Mom, are you okay? Yeah, um, just something you said. It, um, brought back some memories. You helped someone? Did the same thing? No. Someone helped me. A homeless person helped you? That doesn't make any sense. I've never told you this, sweetheart, but when you were very young, there was a point in time when we were homeless. You see, my dream was always to start a family. But your father, he never wanted children. So when he found out I was having you, he said to give you up for adoption. When I refused, he decided to leave. To make things even worse, after you were born and I needed to take time off from work, my job said they couldn't wait for me to come back. They decided to let me go. <laughs> Eventually, I got behind on bills. I wasn't able to keep up without any income. So, I had no choice but to sleep in the car. I remember one day, things got so bad, I didn't know how we were gonna eat. But then, a kind man helped us when I least expected. And he continued to help, day after day, until I got back on my feet. So you see, for a few months after you were born, we also were homeless. Wow, Mom. I can't believe you never told me this story. <laughs> well, it was so very long ago. And thankfully, our situation didn't last very long. But it's just so sad to think that there's some people who can't escape it. Especially knowing that there's such good people out there. David, wait. Just throwing away the leftovers since no one usually eats them. Did, did you want some more? No. I have a better idea. Hank, you don't happen to have a dollar on you, do you? I need water. Oh, man. I had a dollar, but I ended up giving it to this boy who really needed the help. Sorry. That's all right. Chris, what are you doing back here? Well, I told you you'd be seeing me soon. This time I came prepared, so uh hope that helps. Uh, nah, you didn't have to do all of this. Look what he bought us. Exactly what I needed. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Hey, Hank, uh, there's somebody I'd love for you to meet. My mom. It's... You! You're the person that helped us when we were homeless. I did? He did? Your name is Hank, right? You don't understand what you did for me. I was at the lowest point in my life, and you helped me get through it. Wow. That makes me so happy to hear. You know, I always love 
when I run into people that I've helped a long time ago and to see them do so well? Well, to be honest, I I've come back multiple times looking for you. I, I figured you'd left the street. I, I didn't realize you were still here. Well, I haven't exactly had the best luck. And at my age, it'd probably be a little too late for me right now. There's not any extra food in there, is there, Hank? Oh, yeah, sure. Hold on. You know, maybe you'd have better luck if you didn't give everything that you had away. True, but either way, I manage. Thanks to nice people like you. You know, why don't you come home with us? We have lots of extra bedrooms at our place. No, I, I mean, thank you for the offer. I mean, you've done more than enough, and I don't want to be a burden to anyone. Oh, you aren't a burden. I'm serious. And it'll give me a chance to finally thank you for what you did for us. That's a great idea. I mean, come on, Hank. I mean, you would be doing us a favor. Yeah. Besides, a wise man once told me, all the kindness that you put out in the world will always find a way to come back to you. <laughs> well, since you put it that way. Wonderful. Come on. Let's get out of the cold. <laughs> all right. All right.